Having good habits and routines is not very easy, but once you master it and once you have a really good structure, your whole day will feel like chef's kiss here, chef's kiss there. It'll feel so purposeful. So something that I've really implemented is thinking of my day in two categories. The first category is going to be business. This is gonna be the hard work, the actual work that you need to do whether you like it or not. And the next category is going to be pleasure. So these things are gonna be the little joys in life. They can be as small as having coffee, journaling, and it could be as big as ordering takeout. So when I separate my day looking into business versus pleasure, <laughs> I, it really does help. So typically I begin my morning with pleasure. <laughs> Just hear me out, okay, I'm sorry. But like, this is just how it is. I will go and sit on my couch in the morning. Typically I'll have coffee or I'll journal a little bit or I'll read a book. And this really, really centers me. It makes me enjoy my mornings more than you could ever, ever imagine. Next up, following right after it, I go straight into business. And so business I know, okay, I need to check my emails and I need to reach out to clients and make sure that I'm good for the day on my job. So that would be one business activity. So I have found that alternating between the business versus the pleasure and the joyful parts going back and forth has really helped me adopt a really healthy mindset, especially with having to do a little bit of the harder work throughout the day. Okay, so alongside the business versus pleasure, this next one is required ritual. This is very big. There is going to be one daunting task or one very, very important task every single day of your life that you will have to do, right? It could fall under work, it could fall under a personal goal. For me, that is working out. That is my required ritual that I really need to obtain but i also try to do it every single day and i painfully fail but i know i have it in my head where i'm like okay i have to do this every single day i have to adopt this habit whether i like it or not for you maybe that required ritual is waking up at 6 a.m to work out or maybe your required ritual is meal prepping or going grocery shopping or something that you know you have to do every single day maybe not grocery shopping but and the part where you really take advantage of your day is checking off that required ritual. So today I knew in my head, okay, um, I really need to get a gym membership. What can I do today that will get me at least 1% of the way to my required ritual? And that was calling a gym and seeing how much it is for a gym membership. So 1% is better than 0%. And I was like, okay, I mentally agreeing in my head that I'm gonna do this ritual moving forward, but I'm gonna start at calling them and getting information. Another example of a required ritual would be reading. So this is something that I was doing very recently. I was reading this book, Rebecca. Now this was written in the 1930s and I bought the book and I was like, shoot, you know, if I can just read one chapter a day, like I should be good to go. So every night I would read one chapter and I'd be like, okay, like done, I'm bored, whatever. I'll just read another chapter tomorrow night. Like I wasn't as excited to read it. Then I got into the middle of it and it was like, okay, the routine came in and every night I started to read a chapter and then I got even more excited about it and then I would read two chapters and then one day I just finished the entire book. And my point with this example is I created a very, very easy required ritual. And that was to end my nights, I just read one chapter of a book, right? I'm off my phone and I'm just really in the present moment of reading and absorbing a story, a fiction story. And that was fantastic for me because I actually like never really thought that I would ever read this book. Like it was one of those books that I just bought because Taylor Swift read it, <laughs> but I was so proud of myself. I freaking read this book and it was incredible. So I hope that maybe that inspires you to think about, okay, what would my required ritual be for the day? And I find that I am now going to continue every single night reading a chapter or more of a book. And that's gonna make me feel like I'm really taking advantage of my day.
So I have always heard that kids really enjoy structure and a routine in their day-to-day -day. and I really thought about that because you know how parents are like my kid loves routine and structure and it's like it makes sense right like when you're in a routine and you've got some really good habits and things that you can look forward to it's like your brain can kind of shut off right it's like it's on autopilot and it's kind of nice sometimes whenever you just can shut off and like Wake up, do your morning routine, make your coffee, read a book. You know, it's like those things are really nice because you kind of just don't have to be alarmed or stirred up by just chaos. I will say throughout my day, I always allow a little pocket of chaos to welcome to come in. You know, maybe a friend is having a meltdown. Maybe I'm having a meltdown. Like maybe something is just like absolutely wrong in my day and I have to go run this weird errand. Knowing that I'll have like one bit of chaos, it's kind of nice to expect that too. So here is your homework assignment. I want you to pull out a pen and paper and figure out what falls under your business of the day. This could be emails, what is the actual work that you have to do, what are some chores and errands that you must run, what are some household duties that you need to do, what are some food requirements, some workouts, some physical activity. I want you to think about what falls under your business category routine. Then I want you to really think about where is the pleasure in your day. It really could be as simple as coffee outside on the porch having a book to read to end the night, making a really yummy dinner, ordering takeout, watching a movie, going on TikTok for 30 minutes, talking to a friend on the phone. The next thing I want you to do is write down required ritual. And under, I want you to list off one thing that is a required ritual that you wanna start implementing every single day. For me, my required ritual is going to be as simple as moving my body to as complicated as going to the gym every other day, like a required ritual. I'm creating a scale for myself where it's like, at least if you move your body, great, but if you can do a workout, even better. The next thing is chaos. <laughs> the expected chaos. What is one thing that you, what is one pocket of time in your day where you know, okay, I'm gonna welcome a little bit of chaos. I don't know, I kinda wanted to add this section in there because I think as humans, we have to kind of expect the unexpected in order to not like, have like a shock to our system. So I find that maybe that would be a really great place for you to begin. You could do this every single day where you open up a journal and you write down, okay, what is my business task of the day? What is my pleasure task of the day? And what is my required ritual of the day? And I find that that could be a fantastic way for you to really take advantage of your day. And if you do this, you will start to adopt a really, really amazing habit and structure to your day. And those are the beauties of your routine. I mean, I have my morning routine, I have my afternoon routine, and I have my night routine. And that just gets me really, really excited for every day that comes. And you know what, I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm literally in my apartment all day. <laughs> like I work from home and my whole life is in my apartment, unfortunately. So. I just make it work and it makes me enjoy my days. You know, like I really, even if I don't see many people throughout the week, it still gets me super, super in a good zen and a good mindset to really like take charge of my future and all that good stuff. So knowing that I'm able to have really good routines in place that I know I have to do, but I also enjoy, has tremendously helped me. I have a budget spreadsheet that I created and if you're really trying to adopt a really good budgeting routine where every single day you're adding in how much you're spending, I highly, highly recommend this. I've been doing it every single day this whole month of September. It always is a rude awakening. Like I don't want to do my own budget spreadsheet because it's a rude awakening, right? Like it just reminds me that like I cannot spend money at all at all because I'm spending too much but it's fantastic I'll link it down in the description below it's just you'll have it for a lifetime and it really helps you it seriously does with that being said thank you so much for watching this video if you want more videos like this please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and comment down below what is one thing that you are adding into your routine that is part of your required ritual mine's working out what's yours Anyway, love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Kisses.